Hello, home builders. Today we're looking at giving account, uh, specifically talking about winning souls to Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5, verses 9 through 11, we see, Wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. When people see us, when they hear us, our actions that we have, uh, the, the places, the things that we do, are we a witness for Christ? Much of what I'm seeing in the world today is the opposite of that uh, for us as Christians. And... Um, in this devotion we're looking at, uh, you think of uh, the missionary Jim Elliott to Ecuador. He was martyred for his faith. His desire was to see that nation. And listen to what he says. He says, and he wrote this in his journal, Father, make, me, make of me a crisis man. Bring those I contact to decision. I love this. Let me not be a mile post on a single road. Make me a fork that men must turn one way or another on facing Christ in me. Well, I think some of us are a fork in the road. Uh, you know, many times I, I hope I'm not a fork that made people to decide, well, I don't want anything to do with that. I want it to be there, there they see Christ in me and that they will decide, I, I, I don't want to submit to God, or at least they know there's a decision to be made. I, th I guess that's where I'm, I'm going at here. Uh, Eliot's famous for the phrase, he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. And we are gaining, we are trying to accumulate all these things in life that really we're just going to lose in the end. And may we spend our time seeking those things that are eternal, seeking the souls of those that we come in contact with, those that are our neighbors, and more importantly, even our family. May our witness May our character be that that is a fork in the road that people must decide what they're going to do with Jesus Christ. And um, that's convicting to me. Am I just, like he said, just a milepost along that road? Or am I a fork in the road? Uh, and um, I'd ask you to ask that same question today. What are you striving for? What's the, what's the thing that causes you to get up in the morning? What, uh, what is the thing that uh, motivates you? Is it reaching others or is it the hundreds and thousands of other things that this world clogs our mind with? Very convicting. Today's renewal principle, knowing that we will one day face God to give an account should inspire us to be faithful to witness. Hope you guys have a good day. Uh, we start Awana tonight. We start SWAT tonight. So bring your kids out and your teens and uh, we'll be uh, starting, uh, well, we're going to be starting a new series next week. The pastor will be preaching tonight. I'm not really sure what on. I'm sure it'll be good. It's his last Wednesday night he's preaching for us. So come on out and hear that as well. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.